Podcast. Oh, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to an episode, another episode of Biohack Our Best Life. That's right. Biohack My Best Life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're biohacking our best lives. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is the beautiful Elizabeth Hookstra, and my name is Billy Carson, aka Fo. Fo. You see me doing this, guys. It's not a gang sign. Some people have been kind of, what kind of sign is that? Are you a Mason? Is that a gang sign? No, it stands for <laughs> four. A Mason. <laughs> Forbidden knowledge. I know more than the Masons anyway. They don't have anything on me. <laughs> you are one this week. I, know. I swear you are. <laughs> you are one. I'm yeah. Perfect. Let me get over here. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Everybody's spilling in here in the two, chat. Two, two, two. It was two, two, two for a second. Right. We had 222 people in at one time. That was cool. It's moving on up now. This is great. Please don't forget to please like, subscribe. Please also share this link with other people. The information that we share can help a lot of people in ways that you don't, you may not even understand uh, or know about, but it can help other people. And if we help just one or two people and you know, just from one podcast, it was well worth it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And this is going to be, uh, this is going to answer a lot of people's questions, I think, because yeah. I have been getting a ton of comments, a ton of DMs, mm -hmm. and people are asking, well, how do you do this? I mean, we talk about it a lot on yeah. this podcast, but I wanted to center this episode on it specifically mm -hmm. and that's how to get trauma out of your mind body and energy yeah that's so. important because like you say a lot of people hear us say you have to release the trauma yeah you have to work on the you know you do the shadow work you have to do the work yeah do the what work. does that really mean right what is the work yeah what is shadow work how mm -hmm. do you get the trauma out of your mind and body right. there's there's definitely ways right. so yeah and that's what I wrote about it in my book, mm -hmm. and you know, if you guys want to check it out, I write about 46 different ways. Yeah. Tonight we'll probably only go over a couple, which I feel like are very, very profound and help have helped me mm -hmm. make leaps in my healing journey. Yeah. That I just I didn't think I could ever feel this mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And I'm a witness because you know, before we get started, I'm sitting here with you now for almost two years, mm -hmm. right? and being with you day in day out and i see you doing the work mm -hmm. so i'm an actual witness to it it's <laughs> yeah. not just a whole bunch of blah 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 no. and i'm gonna get on, on on a video and i'm gonna oh. talk this talk yeah. you actually walk the walk mm -hmm. that's what your book is actually about mm -hmm. i've witnessed it i witnessed it actually daily i remember yesterday i think it was i passed by the meditation room and i see all this red light <laughs> <laughs> I see all this red light coming out of the crack in the door. I'm like, how many red lights did you have on in there? <laughs> oh, I'm serious about my work. Yeah, she yeah. does it. She does the work. She is doing this work nonstop, uh, which is great because, you know, and I, I work on myself in my own ways, but I've been experimenting and working on some of the techniques that you've showed me now. I know. And I was just about to say yeah. that. Yeah. I see you doing the work and yeah. it makes me so happy because honestly, it's hard to instill these qualities within people because for some reason, our programming code mm -hmm. does not allow us to try to heal ourselves. There's yeah. always a block like, oh, that's never going to work. That sounds stupid. Right, right. And that's the first thought that, that comes to mind during some, when I tell people some about some of these modalities, mm -hmm. uh, stick your feet on the ground. It's going to make you feel better. They're like, what are you talking about? And it's that block. It's that, yeah. that conscious unconscious programming that hits everybody like mm -hmm. i had to go to my mother's house and put a sheet on her bed a pillowcase on her pillow and make her ground because mm -hmm. she was like this nick and rick this, this is silly <laughs> <laughs> like, we love miss ellen but yeah <laughs> sometimes you just have to do it for the people you love yes exactly yeah. she was having foot surgery i'm like this is gonna heal you probably yeah. about 40 to 60 percent right faster mm -hmm. and more efficiently than without it so. Right. Exactly. Yes. That's yeah. so true. That's so and you true. have been doing the work, which is really amazing. It's just I love I love seeing it because a lot of people just don't do it because honestly, it's unconscious sabotage. Mm -hmm. 
or subconscious sabotage for yeah. self because people right. don't feel worthy that they should be full of love and love themselves. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a great episode because we're going to really explain to you what the work is and some of the things that Elizabeth does on a daily basis, some of the things I do on a daily basis to help uh, do the work on ourselves, release the trauma, um, and just, you know, to answer the questions. And, and hopefully this, uh, like I said, it helps some people understand a little bit better. So it's going to be a, a great talk tonight. Uh, looking forward to it. Yeah. 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 Well, we should dive right in then. All right. So... You, as you guys know, I, uh, I I'm pretty uh, transparent when it comes to the show and in my book. If you, any of you guys have read my book and on my posts and my videos, I'm very transparent just because I like to inspire the change within people and show them that you can go through a lot of things in life and you can get over those things and you don't have to feel those things every single day all day and it doesn't have to make you crazy i hate that term i yeah. hate that term when oh she's crazy all these women they're crazy oh he's crazy yeah. no one's crazy they're just traumatized right. traumatized and acting through their fear really mm -hmm. and that's all it is no one's really crazy yeah. they literally are acting through their programming mm -hmm. and usually it's from zero to seven and actually now that i've done a little bit more research bruce lipton i was just reading one of his books mm -hmm. and he was talking about that actually goes back your personality develops in the womb in the womb inside the womb so it happens before you even get here yeah. and epigenetics ancestral trauma you come into this this vessel mm -hmm. you you come into this vessel and you're already full filled up with all types of trauma that you yeah. don't even consciously right. connect to. It's important that you said that because a lot of people be like, well, but what do you mean? I, I don't have no trauma. Well, you had trauma before you were born. You had trauma before you arrived here. And we know now through scientific studies yeah. that you, that you receive uh, your programming code while you're actually in the womb in gestation for nine months. <laughs> And a lot of your personality is developed over that. So if you're inside of a womb of a woman that has a, that's in a toxic relationship, that's in an abusive relationship, that's under a lot of stress for other different reasons or purposes, um, a lot of that is a trauma now that's filling and programming your 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 personality. Personality, codes. yes, yeah. yes. And and reading about that, I mean, I kind of connected the reason why I've had such horrible abandonment issues my whole life. I kind of connected that when I did some regression work, which is trauma work. And I re-experienced my birth and realized what happened to me during the first moments of my life. But in studying this, now I realize, okay, this all makes sense because I was given up for adoption. And when I did other regression work, I actually went back into my mother's womb and I felt all of her emotions, which is, this is what happens. So mothers out there, be careful because your baby can feel everything that you feel, yeah. everything. Yeah. And what I felt when I went back into my mother's womb was horrible. I mean, she was stressed and depressed and didn't want me and disgusted. It was an awful feeling. Mm. So I felt that deeply in my body, but it actually healed something within me because right. I realized I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy. Yeah. I have abandonment issues because of the things that I had to endure yeah. before I could consciously consciously remember anything. It developed it did personality traits. Yes. And people say, well, how can that be? Well, you have to remember every emotion that the mother goes through creates uh, secretes a hormone in the body. Exactly. Those hormones are program codes. Yeah. And those program codes are washed over the baby and all throughout the gestation period. So the mother's uh, situation, whatever whatever the case may be, whatever she's going through, good or bad, is being turned into hormones that are secreted, which then hormones carry the programming. Yes. And that goes directly into the fetus. Yeah, exactly. They cross the placenta. These stress hormones that our body releases cross the placenta. Mm -hmm. And now your baby is swimming around in all this stress mm -hmm. and emotion. Right. Yes. And to add a little more credence to it, when I was at MIT studying applied neuroscience, one of the classes that Dr. Tara Swart, the professor, was teaching us was talking about if we're in a room and you're sitting within 15 feet of me or less mm -hmm. and you're stressed out, your cortisol levels are spiked. Now, the cortisol is actually the hormone is actually coming out of your body mm -hmm. 
and riding your electromagnetic field. Mm -hmm. And if your field interconnects with my electromagnetic field, the cortisol from your body, your hormones mm -hmm. come down in my field and come directly in through my body and affect my cortisol levels and spike my levels. So yours, you being stressed could spike me and make me stressed out yeah. just by sitting in the same room. Right. And you can feel that. Everybody can feel those things. You can viscerally yeah. feel that. If you're in a room and everybody's happy and, and jumping around and all of a sudden a person comes in and and they're down and depressed and walking around with their head down, you can feel that viscerally yeah. inside your body. Mm -hmm. And why? That makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. All the sense. So these are things just to think about if you're pregnant. I'll probably write a book on it at some point, to be honest, because it is so important. Mm -hmm. The pregnancy stage. I mean, I am a living example of how much it can screw you up <laughs> badly if you don't have a good pregnancy yeah. and if you don't get coddled and loved on those few moments when you uh, you know give birth and the baby the baby's first moments <laughs> in mm -hmm. this life are so important so important embrace yeah yeah I, I i swear when i did that regression work and i came through my mother's womb mm -hmm. i wanted to be held by the woman that carried me mm -hmm. the only person that i knew Right. That's yeah. that's what I felt. I, I felt all these emotions and had all these thoughts. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be held by the only person I knew, mm -hmm. which was her yeah. and looked at her. I wanted to look at her and I wanted her to embrace me. But mm -hmm. instead, the, the nurses snatched, you snatched away. me away. Yeah. Which is so important. Like when my daughter, my oldest daughter now, she's 31. She's having another baby. She had a, a, a baby, uh, my grandson, Mav. And when she was pregnant, I told her, you need a birthing plan. Mm -hmm. And I said, the most important thing is that as soon as that baby comes out of the womb, the first thing they need to do is put the baby on your chest. Yeah, That's the first place the baby goes. Yeah. Now, in the birthing plan that I had her write up, there were, I can't talk about it here because the YouTube will, will get us. Mm -hmm. But there's several things that they're not going to do to that baby. Mm -hmm. And I mean, definitely not going to do. And they didn't do it because she had that birthing plan written out. Uh, and the first thing that they, do, that they did was put the baby on her chest. They didn't cut the cord right away, mm -hmm. a lotus birth, mm -hmm. no eye drops, mm -hmm. no eye medicine. Uh, but she was able to get the baby right to her chest. That creates that instantaneous bond. bond. Yes, because you think about it. And this this makes logical sense. Think about it. You're a tiny little baby. You incarnate in this strange world. You're having all of these emotions, these feelings, and you don't know what's going on. And the only person that you do know that you recognize, whether it be your mom or you could recognize two people because you could have a father that's talking because you as a baby you can hear that yeah. so if you don't get the embrace and the skin to skin contact with the only people that you know your first moments in this world it's awful mm -hmm. for the rest of your life yeah it yeah. programs you for exactly. the rest of your life yeah so we start growing up we've got this uh this innate trauma already in us this programming code of fear and negativity already in us we become addicted to the hormones that are secreted mm -hmm. for trauma and stress. Yeah. So we look for more trauma and stress so we can get that feeling because we're codependent on the hormone yes. that, that we get from that secreted yeah. from us when we get that uh, problem. Yeah. Yeah. People are literally addicted. They're addicted to fight or flight and it's not consciously, you're not mm -hmm. consciously addicted. Yeah. You don't want the drama, but if you haven't healed the trauma, then you're going to get a lot of drama because right. unconsciously you're searching out for ways to sabotage yourself to make sure that you can get those hits yeah. of cortisol, adrenaline, those things that, that are good when you can shift out of it, but mm -hmm. are bad when you they're secreting for ex extensive periods of time. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, are you ready to touch on some of the things that we can yes. do? Mm -hmm. to hear, help do the work and clear out some of the trauma? Yeah, yeah. Well, we talked about it a little bit for pregnant mothers yeah. or, or people that you know, are planning to get pregnant. The, the first moments are very, very important. Like you said, you yeah. had a perfect, that was perfect for your daughter. Mm -hmm. That's what we would recommend for something like that. I mean, even the lights, when you come into yeah. this world, the lights are so toxic in mm -hmm. hospitals. And think about where you're at too. Think about the energy that a hospital carries. Mm -hmm. And so you're you're getting enveloped in this stress energy the minute that you're born. So stay away from hospital births. That's yeah. number one. Yeah, if you can do a home birth, that would be great. I saw somebody in the chat said they had their both of their kids born at home. Oh yeah. 
if you can get a midwife and do a home birth, Mm -hmm. what a great thing to do. Because then you're more in even complete control. I mean, my daughter had to keep checking and checking and checking to make sure they were going to follow that birthing plan. But if you do a home birth, you already know they're on board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Home births are amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So some others, some other ways uh, that you can get rid of trauma. Um, I will, I will talk about this just because it was the, one of the biggest leaps that I took in my healing process. Uh, It was the first time when I was 19 years old, Mm -hmm. I did something called neurofeedback Mm -hmm. and neurofeedback is that it it changed my whole life. Mm -hmm. It set me on a different trajectory. I would not be where I'm at today if I did not try neural feedback. Um, after when, when I was 19, I had gone through a ton of trauma. I mean, I'm talking zero to seven trauma. I'm mm. talking young teen trauma. I'm sorry. It was awful. Okay. Mm. I went through some stuff and I was wow. on this drug rampage. Mm. So I was taking pills daily for about 90 wow. days. So I, by the end of the 90 days, I couldn't even speak correctly. My brain was so inflamed. Mm. And I know this now, I had so much inflammation, zero detox. I wasn't sleeping, so I couldn't even speak. Mm. I could not. I couldn't even make sentences make sense. Wow. And so, I tried neural feedback. And after five days of neural feedback, I started to speak again normally. I started to make better decisions. Mm. I broke up with my ex boyfriend that was terribly abusive, mm. and I actually moved back. With my mom. Wow. And that's a big change in a short period of time. Yes. Now I've witnessed you get people on neurofeedback with mm-hmm. my own eyes. Yeah. Including somebody that's related to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you were predicting what they were gonna do, the changes that they would make in their life. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. Remember, I was like, mm. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, like, you said no. Nah. <laughs> nah. And all of a sudden, yeah. boom, boom, boom. And I was like, oh yeah. my god. God, that mm-hmm. was too quick. Mm-hmm. Like it just worked like a charm. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So I can predict yeah. what will happen to people after they brain train. So I call neurofeedback brain training, but I want you guys to be able to research this, look it up, see if there's any practitioners. Type it in there so they can see how it's spelled. Neurofeedback. Yeah. Neuro... Oops. Yeah. Neurofeedback. So. She's going to type it in the chat feed for you guys. Okay. So you can look for any practitioners around you that you could try some sessions out. Basically, what neurofeedback does is it rewires your brain to become more conscious of what you're doing. Because if you don't have awareness about, let's say, a scrape on your leg, you're not going to treat that scrape because you don't even know it's there, right? Mm -hmm. So what neurofeedback does is it makes you aware, it makes your brain aware of these issues and these patterns that are not serving your greatest good, right? I was on drugs. I had inflammation in my brain. I was making very terrible decisions. All of a sudden, boom, I get clear. And now I'm making better decisions about my life. And I'm moving in different ways because I could clearly see this is bad. This is good. Mm -hmm. So it's basically putting a mirror up to your brain and showing your brain, hey, there's a problem, a problem, a problem, a problem. And it's clearing out all those negative thought patterns and it's helping your focus. I mean, it helps in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. Um, Focus, anxiety, and sleep. Now, when you sleep, your body and your brain detox. Mm -hmm. I just, I think I made a post or saw a a video about it the other day. But your body and your brain detox when you sleep, but only if you get into these deeper levels of sleep. So when you're not sleeping well, your body and your brain are not detoxing properly. Right. Your lymphatic, not your lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is throughout throughout your body Mm -hmm. and also goes into your brain. But at night, the lymphatic system activates. Right. And you have these little glial cells and it's like cleaning out all the toxicity in your brain. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what neurofeedback helps with as well, because I had insomnia, terrible insomnia. I could not sleep. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, After I brain trained, though, I was like, wow, I slept for, I remember this. I remember I was 19. I slept for four hours and I felt like I slept for 25 days. Wow. I woke up refreshed. I'm like, wow. Yeah, completely. Now, let's tell them exactly how the machine connects to them and, and, you know, what what the procedure is with it. So there's different ways. There's a bunch of different systems that you can use. Like, for instance, when I was 19, I used a completely different system than what I have right now. When I was 19, 
I, it was a two hour session and it was, it was pretty long and extensive. You would put these sensors on different parts of your head and you would move them around every 20 minutes with these sounds. And you sit back, put headphones on and just listen and calm and be relaxed and listen to these sounds. And it retrains different parts of your brain. Now that was back when I was 19. Mm -hmm. Now the system that I have, you only have to do that for 33 minutes and it hits 16 different parts of your brain. So, and it also updates. It updates as, as time goes on because I, when I first got the system, I think it was only 12 parts of your brain. Now right. it hits 16. Mm -hmm. So all you do is put these little sensors on your head and then you listen to the music and you'll hear, like for me, I hear skips, pauses, and interrupts. And that's basically my brain talking to itself. Right. Cleaning itself. Mm -hmm. I call it the brain dump. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. And it's totally painless. Oh, it's yeah. non-invasive. Non-invasive. It's actually very calming. It is. It is. It's very, very calming. It's almost like you get into a meditation with it. Yeah. And your brain is communicating and working on itself. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. tricks the brain into fixing itself. Yeah. Which yeah. is the beautiful thing about this. Yes. And it also down regulates your nervous system. I mean, 95% of the world right now is walking around in fight or flight. Mm -hmm. And it's getting worse and it's gotten worse because right. of all the crazy stuff that we've had to deal with. So everybody's walking around with your nervous systems on, on 10, mm -hmm. on 10 all the time. So one of the things you'll immediately feel when you're doing neurofeedback is your system down regulates. Right. Like you can breathe again. You can see again. It's like putting just a brand new, it's taking the veil away. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Incredible. It's an incredible thing. If you can find a neurofeedback practitioner yeah. or if you can find the machine and buy one for yourself at home, like Elizabeth has her own neurofeedback machine, you can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can definitely find it. They're out there. Uh, it doesn't shock your brain. Someone said it. Yeah, no, 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 it does not shock your brain at all. It's, it doesn't put anything into you. Yeah. Like the sensors don't, don't feed anything to your brain. What the system is doing is it's reading the energy coming out of your brain and then converting those in a, um, in a quantum at a quantum level mm -hmm. and converting that into music. Yeah. So the sounds, it's all sounds related. Yeah, it's all sounds. Yeah. It's all frequency. It's frequency healing. Well, the kind of the system that I have. So there are yeah. other neural feedback systems that you can draw while you have these sensors on your head or mm -hmm. you watch a cartoon or these shows mm -hmm. while you have the sensors on your head. There's a bunch of different systems that people use. They're all pretty effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That was a huge, huge leap i took in my healing journey yeah yeah absolutely so it's huge that's a great great tool i've seen the the incredible mad use it of course i brain train as well mm -hmm. very calming very relaxing yeah uh, but i've seen it with uh one person that's a close relative of mine mm -hmm. and i've seen what it's done in her life and it's just mind boggling yeah mind boggling mm -hmm. yeah and another one of our friends yeah. uh, was recently using the brain training equipment. And I see right away while we were there in town, because mm -hmm. you brought it with you, Yeah, uh, a lot of almost instantaneous changes as well. Yeah. Oh, it'll do that. Yeah. It'll make you make instant. And, and a lot of people come out of the machine and they, they are bawling, crying, like crying because of all of the emotion, right? So right. it'll also bring up old trauma. And this is why people are, are screwed up because the mind body connection, because mm -hmm. trauma gets stuck in the body. Yep. It is not just a one central way. It doesn't move one way. It goes all directions. It affects everything. Mm -hmm. So you have to figure out ways if you want to really remove the trauma to get it out. So you have to purge that emotion. Mm -hmm. You have to purge that trauma out of you. Yeah. And so a lot of people come out of brain training and they're, they're crying. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people come out of brain training and they'll cry maybe a day later and start bawling for no reason. Two people, mm -hmm. two men that I brain trained that that happened to the, it happened to them. Mm. They had an emotional release. Yeah. Because when you hold on to trauma, that's stuck in your body, which right. eventually turns into physical ailments mm -hmm. and it turns into turns into disease. Mm. So in order to purge that out, you know, th these things help do so. Yeah. And you have to feel that. You have to let it go. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want to just stuff emotion and stuff emotion and stuff emotion and that. I'm telling you from experience, it will jack you up yeah. terribly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. It's powerful stuff. No, it is. And so that's just one of the methods. It is. It yeah. is. What's another method for uh, doing the work or, or releasing trauma? 
Okay, so let's touch on that. Um, cutting cords, right? Because I, I posted about that today. There, uh, People were asking me how to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, but cutting cords is a really great way to let go of trauma mm -hmm. in the body, in the mind, mm -hmm. because and, and in the energy. And yeah. in the energy. Right. Because you separate yourself from the energy. Exactly. Right. Exactly. It's more energetic than it is mind-body to be honest. Yeah. So when you're in close contact, now this can be in a relationship romantically, a friendship, even a family member, you mm -hmm. know, it doesn't matter what relationship this is. I didn't specify. It may be a coworker. Anything. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. If, if you get in close contact and start entangling with this person, mm -hmm. then your energies will, will mix. Right. And, and you could carry that energy. And like, for instance, Someone was really, really irritating me at work, mm -hmm. at work. And mm -hmm. I cut cords with that person because they were affecting the way that I was working. I couldn't mm -hmm. focus. And I would think about them all the time and outside of even work. So mm -hmm. I'm like, how can I get rid of these constant thoughts and this mm -hmm. this this grasp I feel like this person has on me? Yeah. And so I did the cutting cords thing and boom, mm -hmm. I didn't care as much anymore. Right, right. Now, how do you cut the cord? Like, what is the method for that? Okay, so so I have a spiritual advisor. Her name is Courtney Kane Sides. She has her episode on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. And she's been my spiritual advisor for almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. And she actually texted me and told me exactly how to do it because she's guided me through this a couple different times throughout the past 10 years when I've needed to do it because I forgot. <laughs> so let me read this actually. Cords and bubble. I cut all cords that go from me to other people in particular, say that person's full name. I cut all cords that go from other people to me in particular, say that person's name. This can be done in the beginning by looking in the mirror and saying this out loud, but can be done anywhere, anytime. It is healthy to cut cords, even with the people we love. Mm. Listen to that. Mm. Listen to that. That's profound. I've had to do that, man. Seriously, when we cut, when we cut those cords, with we all we leave, wait, all we leave room for, a, each of us to carry one hundred percent of our energy rather than carry others or have them carry for us. Now this can go both ways. The mm -hmm. other people could be carrying our energy, right? right? Um, also, if you find yourself worrying about someone stressed, obsessed or anything, this is a good time to cut those cords. Mm -hmm. Wow. Absolutely. So yeah. I'm going to say it one more time. The, the, what you're supposed to say, I cut all cords that go from me to the other people, to other people in particular, say that person's name. I cut all cords that go from other people to me in particular, say that person's name. Now, mm -hmm. while you're saying this, Go like this, mm -hmm. right? You do this a couple of mm -hmm. times and you literally imagine in your mind that you're cutting this cord. Boom, mm -hmm. it's gone. And you go all the way right. over your head, right? I go all the way back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I cover all of this, right? Mm -hmm. I go backwards and then I go forwards. Mm -hmm. And I do this as many times as I feel necessary. And honestly, it makes a true difference, yeah. a true difference. Mm -hmm. And I, I can tell you, I feel so much lighter after I do this because sometimes I mean, especially with people that have abandonment issues, yeah. they'll get these obsessive thoughts, which is an anxious, anxious attachment mm. syndrome. We all have these attachment styles. So for me, before when I, I started doing my healing work, I had a very anxious attachment style, which mm. will create obsessive thoughts. Yeah. So I couldn't stop thinking about these certain things and these certain people. And it's torture. Mm -hmm. It's literally torture. It is. So when you cut cords, oh, my God, it's like freedom. Freedom. You free yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You free yourself from the tethers that bind, as Thoth the Atlantean says. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that he was teaching us how to cut cords thirty six thousand years ago in the Emerald Tablets. Mm. Mm. Yeah. See, it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. It's a real thing. So use that. Use that. The term. Do the little thing, and the <laughs> and I promise you, it will, it will make a difference yeah. in releasing some of that trauma energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Those are two really, really great, great um, things that you can do to work on yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember, oh, go, ahead, go ahead. Especially yes. before we move on to the next subject, yeah. especially if you're sleeping with people, mm -hmm. okay? Because when you have sex with somebody, you're entangled. Mm -hmm. it's, impossible, it's impossible not to be entangled yeah. with the people that you have sex with. Mm -hmm. So don't 
go into other relationships bringing that heavy dirty energy mm -hmm. into the next one because yeah. it's not fair for your new partner mm -hmm. and it's not fair for the partner that you're not together with anymore yeah because what are you doing <laughs> what is right. what is that that connection is there for what reason mm -hmm. it doesn't need to be there exactly yes. just cut it just cut it get rid of it yes move on mm -hmm. you know the past is only in your mind right the future doesn't exist yet mm -hmm. in quantum physics it's in a superposition, so many outcomes can occur. Mm -hmm. The only moment is the moment of now. Focus on that so you can create the future that you want and deserve. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Boom. Drop the mic. We get <laughs> off now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. You were saying, sorry. No, I was going to ask you. So I, I, I remember um, seeing you doing some videos early on uh, when I first met you. You were showing, you were talking about, first of all, you were talking about animals, how they release stress. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you were talking about doing a stress relief, trauma release movement mm -hmm. with your own body, kind yeah. of similar to how animals do it in the wild. Yeah. Yeah. So... For people that do, that don't know about your stress response and how your body is supposed to react, it's emotions are biology, right? Yeah. Your whole body does certain things to make you feel certain ways, mm -hmm. right? And we have gotten so cut off from that that part of ourselves that we don't even notice anymore, mm -hmm. basically. But in the wild, there are animals, right? Of course, there are animals in the yeah. wild. And for instance, a zebra is grazing in the grass okay just grazing mind its own business a lion comes up attacks the zebra bites the zebra and then runs away because i don't know another attacker comes yeah. the zebra is on the ground right and the zebra starts violently shaking mm -hmm. violently and shakes all of that trauma off mm -hmm. and grounds itself into the into the the earth and then gets back up and starts grazing again mm -hmm. notice that animals in the wild do not have ptsd right only animals that are domesticated have PTSD. Correct. Because they get it from us and they're not grounded. Mm -hmm. So we are not supposed to hold on to trauma. It was never supposed to be a, the way that mammals work. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to hold it. So even if you notice little kids, when they're scared, they'll shiver. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just a, a response naturally yeah. that happens before we've tried to, you know, numb ourselves, mm -hmm. basically. But we're supposed to shiver when we're scared. That's yeah. the body getting rid of, of the trauma. Mm -hmm. So in order to release this trauma, there's a special exercise because, called trauma release exercise. It was developed by a doctor named Dr. David Berselli. You guys should look him up. He's an amazing, amazing person. I've learned so much from, from this man. I mean, he is brilliant, mm -hmm. brilliant. And what he found was that he was in a bomb shelter and it was, it was a war back in the day. And he was in the shelter and he was hearing bombs coming closer and closer. And across from him in the bomb shelter, there were two kids sitting on their mom's lap. And these kids, as the bombs got closer, these kids started violently shaking and shaking mm. more. And he looked around the bomb shelter and he saw that none of the adults were shaking. Mm. And so he thought that that was interesting. He's mm. like, hmm, what is this about? Right. Wow. And so he went deep into research, deep into research and basically developed well, found out that we're supposed to shake off our trauma to get mm -hmm. it out of our bodies and basically developed this exercise called trauma release exercise. Mm -hmm. And you guys can look it up on YouTube. There are tons and tons of videos yes, and are. amazing videos. I'm talking people. OK, so there he's worked with a lot of soldiers mm -hmm. and he goes and works with a lot of military because, of course, they're holding on to a ton oh, yeah. of trauma. He was doing a trauma release session with an old vet and this vet started basically coming off the ground and his whole body was convulsing and convulsing. And he started coughing and coughing and coughing. Right. And all of a sudden he starts coughing black stuff out of his mouth. Mm. So this is what happened. That vet was in a war and all of his platoon died over a bomb. There was mm. a bomb that went off. And so all of that, that bomb, all the toxicity was mm -hmm. stuck into in his lungs mm. and it was giving him these this, this dis-ease within mm -hmm. his system. He had all type of health issues. Yeah. Did trauma release and released that trauma out of him. He so much so that he coughed up the black stuff wow. that he inhaled during the trauma. It's crazy. And that's, th those videos are out there. Just yeah. look up trauma released videos on mm -hmm. YouTube and you'll see the technique that the doctor developed. Developed by a doctor, not yes. by us, by a doctor. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I mean trauma release is something that you you can do by yourself. Mm -hmm. I honestly would not re recommend that. Um, I did a session alone 
this one time and I went through too much, uh, too big of a release and I couldn't calm myself down. Well, I did finally end up calming myself down, mm -hmm. but it was scary. I didn't like the way that I felt. Mm -hmm. It was too much. It was a, too much of a rush. And honestly, it kind of traumatized me. So I would really, really advise people to find a practitioner, which there's a ton out there mm -hmm. to help guide you through your first couple of times of doing trauma release. And then yeah. you can just do it by yourself. Right. So in life, when I go through very, very stressful situations, like let's say car accident, I almost got hit by a car when I was in LA, maybe four years ago. I remember that evening I went home and I did trauma release mm -hmm. for like 30 minutes because I didn't want that trauma to get stuck in my body mm -hmm. and me to develop some sort of emotional crutch because mm -hmm. of that instance in my life, because that's what you'll develop, right? Mm -hmm. I could be scared to even drive anymore. Right. And yeah. honestly, it just it releases it out. You don't have that PTSD anymore and mm -hmm. you're good. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's another great one. Another yeah. great one. Yes. I remember we did a video on uh, tapping. Yeah, yeah. Tapping, tapping tra tra trauma out. Yes. And yes. that's the only way that I was able to calm down. It's funny you bring that up. Um, mm -hmm. When I was doing the trauma release session, I the only way I, I was able to calm myself down is to do EFT, emotional right. freedom technique, mm -hmm. which is tapping on different energetic meridians in your body and saying affirmations over and over. And that actually reprograms your subconscious. Mm -hmm. So you can you can do EFT for anything, mm -hmm. anything, childhood trauma, uh, irritation at work. Mm -hmm. um, obsessive thoughts yeah. anything you can you can do tapping for anything yeah literally anything mm -hmm. and it helps reprogram the subconscious yes just give them the one example a brief example of uh tapping okay so there are different spots on your body start here um on the top of your head there's a tap spot on the corner of your eyebrow there's a tap spot there's one right above this part of your eyebrow tap right above your lip tap right below your lip tap and then these two points in your collarbone, I like to use my fist because you can hit both of them. Tap there. There's a point underneath your arm. Tap there. And then your karate chop point. Tap here. And then while you're doing these, this tapping, you're saying your affirmation. You can either do it in the mirror. I think doing it in the mirror is very effective. It, mm -hmm. it has helped me reprogram a lot of my own stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so stand in the mirror, say your affirmations, and tap. And that gets literally injected mm -hmm. <laughs> into your physical being your mind yeah. and your energy right exactly and tell them the name of this technique again eft emotional freedom technique emotional freedom technique guys look it up mm -hmm. we've done videos on it on this network before as well by the way yeah 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 we have so that's yeah. pretty cool stuff mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. what about for you what about do have you what are your ways before you even met me did mm -hmm. you have any ways that you dealt with your own stuff i did uh, for me, my meditation walk, mm -hmm. my, I was going through some severe trauma in my life, mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, you know, a relationship that I was in, uh, years and years ago. Mm -hmm. And this is when I started my walks on the beach yeah. which is about, you know, about 15 years ago. And so, uh, what I, you know, I just, it just came to me said, you know, we, I live by the ocean, but I never go to the beach. Mm -hmm. And I probably hadn't been to the beach in probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 years at that point. Mm -hmm. And I live, what, 10 miles from the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> so I said, let me just go to the ocean. And maybe maybe being by the ocean will help me, you know, sort this out. Mm -hmm. And I went down to the, that beach and I started walking. Uh, and I started walking and walking. And I started focusing on solutions, figuring out my life, meditating while I walked. Mm -hmm. And it was such a release. Mm -hmm. I became addicted to going to the beach to, to, to do that meditation walk. Yeah. Because it was releasing my trauma. Yeah. It was filling me back up with cosmic energy. It was giving me vitamin D from the sun. Mm -hmm. And it was helping me make new plans for the future all at once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of my greatest inspiration and ideas came from those walks. Mm -hmm. And the stress that I went there with, I left it at the beach. Yeah. And when I left the beach, I left yeah. the stress behind. And I would go back to what I was doing, go home or whatever I was doing. And I felt renewed every time I did those meditation uh, walks. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you, I mean, that would be, you know, it started off as like maybe a couple of miles. Mm -hmm. And by the time I was done, it would be averaging four to five miles every single time. Yeah, yeah. But some of my greatest epiphanies and ideas and and downloads and insights mm -hmm. all came. It was like the stress would leave me yeah. and the insights and information would come in. Yeah. I would make space for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
No, that makes that makes all the sense. You yeah. were also doing EMDR. I mm. want to see what I'm trying to look up what it stands for because mm. I forgot. EMDR therapy. Yes, EMDR. Mm. So so I've done EMDR, but you were unconsciously doing EMDR because you're walking, so you're using both sides of your body, mm -hmm. right? And you're meditating and you're thinking about this trauma, and you're letting this trauma go. Yeah. And you're you're it's all thought plus physical, mm -hmm. right? So mind plus body. Yeah. And you're working both sides. And that's what EMDR does because mm. EMDR is really, really great for releasing trauma because mm. it reprograms the way that you feel about trauma. Right. So let's say you were molested as a child. Mm -hmm. You can go to a therapist that is licensed in EMDR mm -hmm. and they will, you know, there's different ways to do it. Some people have these clickers where you, it vibrates in both your hands. Mm -hmm. Some people, it, there's different ways to do EMDR. But you'll actually revisit that traumatizing memory. And while you, these two sides of your brain are being activated, because mm -hmm. both sides of your body both are being activated, being activated yeah. and it's reprogramming the way that you feel mm -hmm. about that traumatic memory. Wow. So that was actually what you were doing. That's crazy. <laughs> as well as, yeah. as everything else. Wow, that's so, incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Well, it, you're activating both sides of the brain because you're using both sides of your body. Right. Uh, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, focusing on the, the trauma, focusing on releasing it and moving forward, you know, for a better future. Yeah. So somebody who's not able to maybe walk three to five miles and have a meditation while they could be uh, in a wheelchair, they could have other disabilities. Mm -hmm. EMDR therapy would be great for them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would. It would be. And so for you, when you think about and talk about those traumatizing times, yeah. and I know because I witnessed that you don't really have an emotional response yeah. to talking about those things. Yeah. So it doesn't bring up all this emotion that you've stuffed down and right. you know, it doesn't really affect you yeah. at all. You can talk about it like, Oh yeah, da, 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 this is right. what happened. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But at the time, could you imagine yourself talking about it with no. somebody else? Oh no, no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was tough. Yeah. <laughs> it was tough. Mm -hmm. But yeah, over time I was able to release a lot of that trauma. Those walks mm -hmm. literally saved my life. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. heavy. Yeah. Wow. You just said they saved your life. Yeah, they did. Ooh. They <laughs> saved my life, literally. Yeah. 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 So that's that's a really, really great way of releasing the trauma, getting the trauma out. One other one mm -hmm. that I'm glad that you um you did. Oh, sorry, people want to know what it's called again. Let me type it in here. E M D R. E M D R. Therapy. I'm typing it in the chat for you guys to see people asking what it is. EMDR therapy. High movement desensitization and reprocessing. So, yeah, that's what it stands for. Okay. It was developed by Shapiro in 2001. It was actually developed back in 1987 for treatment of PTSD and is guided by the adaptive information pro processing model by Shapiro. Hmm. Yeah, it's a really, really powerful technique. It's a really powerful technique. Yeah. I did it and I honestly I got I felt dizzy. I think I overloaded myself mm -hmm. uh, when I went to my therapist and tried it for the first time. Uh, I felt really dizzy and nauseous after I did it because I don't feel like I closed my energy back up after revisiting that trauma and again and again and again. You have to talk about it and feel it and let it out and blah. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a process, yeah. but it's very effective. Mm. Very, very effective. Yeah. It's always, you know, getting trauma out is always going to be a process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're going to do a cleanse, the first few days of that cleanse, you're going to be releasing all kinds of stuff in that toilet mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and your stomach's going to be hurting. Mm -hmm. But by the fifth or sixth day, yeah. you feel a lot better. Yeah. Right. 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 Exactly. So it's the same thing with releasing trauma. There's no difference. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You, um, you try to therapy last was it last week for mm -hmm. the first time that i have been doing for now about three and a half years mm -hmm. and how did you like it oh great phenomenal it's good right yeah yeah so you got cranial sacral right and those cranial sacral therapists also probably did a little bit of somato emotional release work on you without you knowing mm -hmm. um but that somato emotional release work Okay, this is one of the biggest leaps that I've taken in my life. Somato emotional release work. Now, it's going to be great because next week we actually have a guest or two. I don't know if his uh, his wife is coming on or not mm -hmm. with them, but they were the practitioners that worked on you and that worked oh, on me. Yeah. On the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. They're going to come on next week and talk about it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. 
So you guys have to tap in for that. That's going to be really, really informative. Mm -hmm. Somato emotional release work works on your mind, body, and energy. And craniosacral is basically energy, mm -hmm. right? And it gets all this energetic blockages, all your, your the energy in your body that is blocking certain things, like your back was sore. Mm -hmm. And yeah. when you got out of craniosacral, great. exactly, yeah. because they fixed that energy meridian that was causing pain, probably making you overcompensate one side for the other. You know, it was it, was, it fixed that alignment yeah. within you. Yeah, her when they were working on me doing this energy work with their hands. They were talking about, they felt a blockage here or a blockage there and they were repairing blockages and- um, But they don't really do anything, right? It was just- Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's the mm -hmm. hand mm -hmm. and they move energy or yeah. they sense the movement of the energy in the body. Yeah. I gotta admit some of the stuff they did was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, they really did work. Mm -hmm. And you know, then they did the realigning of the chakras. Yeah. So they aligned my chakras. Yeah, she's um, good. At so that. it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's good work. So, somato, 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 emotional somato release. So emotional and cranial yes. sacral, sacral. Yes. Those two things are are good. Yeah. 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 Somato emotional release work actually helps me stop having road rage. Mm. I have a ton of anger in my stuck in my body because I was a stuffer. I never liked to show anybody I had emotion. I was always the happy person. So I stuffed all, all of my emotions all of my life. And I've been, my body has been through some stuff. So in order for me to release that, it would come out inappropriately during road rage. Or even this one time I beat up my car, which was so odd to me because <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I thought <laughs> all the stuff you tell me, I've never seen anything like it oh. <laughs> out of you. So it's no, like, what in the world? It was crazy. I literally lost it. And I thought it was wow. because this is before I became conscious and started doing this, this work. Yeah. My ex, we used to fight all the time. And, mm. and I was like, this man can make me this angry and I get dangerous <laughs> because of him. <laughs> he makes me angry, but it wasn't him. Yeah. It was all of the trauma and yeah. the anger that has compiled over my whole entire life mm. through the abuse coming out. Mm -hmm. It was really, I couldn't hold it in anymore. Yeah. It was like bleh, spurting out. Mm. And I had gotten so mad. I literally, I broke my hand open. It was blood everywhere. Wow. The dash was cracked. Goodness. I was screaming, crying. I was like, where did that even come from? I, I <laughs> After I got over that anger, I, I sat in my car and looked at my hand in my car. I'm like, I've never been this mad before in my whole life wow. like this is crazy you could have had a heart attack tonight. i know it was yeah. it was it was crazy it, i couldn't hold it anymore wow. and i would see little spurts of it during road rage like oh i used to follow people when i was 19 i shot a car because i'm like this mofo is not <laughs> you know i'm all <laughs> so, you know <laughs> but that's that's a symbol that you are holding anger yeah anger annoyance mm -hmm. emotion you have to get it out you have yeah. to get it out i used to get so angry mm. over that and now i can I, I get a little bit of annoyance when someone cuts me off or doesn't yeah. is, is rude on the road but it's nothing yeah i don't see like it anything. Was. no no I, yeah. I don't i don't but it yeah. annoys me but i don't do anything about it like right, i used right. to lose control wow and when you lose control it's a physiological response mm. it is biology it's I, we'll go deep into that another time. But yeah. when you're in fight or flight, you lose 30% of your conscious logical mind. Mm -hmm. the, your blood, conscious, the blood leaves your yeah, part of your brain. Your frontal lobe. It's gone. That's your logic. And that's where you log your logic. Is. That's where you that, decipher things. Once the blood leaves, boom. That's it. It's off. It's off. You're, you're it's off. And your fear center takes over and you're in defense. Mm -hmm. And you're in just bleh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you you lose it. You mm -hmm. literally lose it. Yeah. And it's a physiological thing that's happening within your system mm -hmm. so it's i mean <laughs> you can't wow. you can't hold on to trauma you can't hold on to anger mm -hmm. your whole life yeah. it, it comes out and that's when you get murderers murderers yeah. and people that you know five seconds of of anger can ruin the rest oh, yeah. of your life oh yeah for sure i've seen it you know i remember when church's chicken was having those uh those chicken sandwiches mm -hmm. there were videos of people literally jumping out of their cars and jumping into the window if they didn't have any more chicken sandwiches beating up the clerks and so over forth chicken sandwiches. over a chicken sandwich yeah it wasn't over no chicken sandwich. no that was no. just the the excuse was used but the problem was was what's going on inside of here with mm -hmm. them with those mm -hmm. people yeah yeah they were overloaded yeah toxicity and trauma yeah 
yeah, yeah. way overloaded. So anywho, uh, somatic emotional release work helped me work through that anger and get some of that anger out of my system. Um, and I don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a lot of that anger anymore. I feel it sometimes, but I'm able to, instead of being enveloped by the anger and the anger taking me over, I control the anger, mm -hmm. watch what the anger is doing so I'm not acting inappropriately or unconsciously. Mm -hmm. I'm in control all the time. Which yeah. is all I could ever ask for. That's all I could ever ask for because I ain't seen you get out of control. And I don't want to see that. No. <laughs> I would have saw. I would have saw by now. After two years, I would have definitely saw you get crazy by now. Oh yeah. yeah so it's so okay. Mm -hmm. you, you've done a lot of work, obviously. No, I, I have. Yeah. I have, and I, I refuse not to because I don't want to be the person that accidentally kills a mofo and goes to prison the rest of my life because I've stuffed my anger my entire life and mm -hmm. I just can't, you know, <laughs> I can't yeah. get rid of it. Right. Or I don't, I don't want to be the person that's manifesting all of this negativity because I can't get the trauma energy out of my, my energetic field. So mm -hmm. I can't manifest my best life. Right. I want to become the most optimal I can be mind, body, soul, and live the best life that I possibly can yeah. on this earth during this lifetime. Mm -hmm. So I refuse. I yeah. refuse not to do the work. Yeah. I did well, some work You're living your today. best life now. I am. That's right. You're biohacking your best life. I am. I'm biohacking my best life. But it's a process. Seven. Yes. No, it's a whole process. Yeah. It is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely is a lifestyle. Yeah. You gave me a few links earlier. Oh, um, yeah. I gave you a link to my book. Yeah. So my book, I talk about these these modalities in my book. Um, My book has... 46 different things that you can do to get the trauma out of your mind, body, soul. It has research links that you guys can find, you know, research your own stuff and figure out, you know, if, if this is right for you or not, because some trauma work is good for people and some trauma work is not. I've tried things. I've probably done over 90 holistic modalities in my life at this point, And some of them didn't work. I didn't like some of them, but some of them made me jump leaps and bounds into optimal mind, body, soul. Mm -hmm. Right. So, exactly. Yeah. Everything isn't it. always for everybody. It's always up to how the modality works for you and how you how you spiritually and how your body accepts it. Mm -hmm. So that what you the thing is, you have to try them. Yeah. To find out which ones work for you. Exactly. You it's know, experimenting. There's, there's yourself. Only, yeah. There's only there's only one way. <laughs> yeah. Is to, is to actually try it. Yes. And thankfully, a lot of these things are actually non-invasive. So you know, but right. uh, we're not doctors, or we're not uh, we're not giving any medical advice. We're just talking about things that she's talking about things that she's actually done, and I've, right. I've actually done to help us with uh, trauma and stress. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this second link in here, I'm typing the name of my book right now because someone asked. Okay. To elevate it. The name of the book is being typed into the chat right now. So it's, she's typing it in. We'll pop yes. it up to you right now. Oops. I have to type from this angle. Yeah. Is that, is that right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can put the link to it as well. Okay. Um. So this next link we're about to post is called Grounding. I talk about it all the time. I don't want to be too repetitive, uh, but it is connecting to the earth and getting the negative ions that the earth provides. When you're not grounded, you walk around uh, with about uh, 350 volts of electricity. I mean, more so, you have more so within your body, but the earth, not the earth, but the environments will provide you this mm -hmm. negative bad not not negative like charge but bad energy mm -hmm. 350 volts when you're grounded to the earth you zero out yeah and earthing it's impossible to be chronically inflamed um when you're grounded mm -hmm. right so i mean exactly. it gets rid of uh, autoimmune disease mm -hmm. uh it just everything everything good yeah. and i will talk about this more soon because this book that i'm writing with yes. olivia yes. smith from earthing the earthing company uh, Clint Ober is writing our foreword and has a beautiful story within the book. Uh, it's coming out within the next couple of weeks. It's almost there. Mm -hmm. Published right. by? Forbidden Knowledge. Yes. The Forbidden Knowledge Book Publishing Company. Yes. New book coming out. You're, you already have a standing order for 100,000 copies. Yeah. Of yeah, the book, so the book is going to be a bestseller mm -hmm. right away, which is phenomenal. Yeah, that's exciting. That's yeah, exciting, and yeah. we're coming to the final touches. Yeah. It's called the Mother Earth Effects. Mm -hmm. 
And it is so profound. It's full of stories about beautiful women that have gone through terrible, terrible disease, dis-ease mm -hmm. within their bodies and how grounding has helped them and the change it has made in their life. Yeah. And it's going to have research, case studies, mm -hmm. QR codes, everything, yeah. everything. And I hope that, I, I just hope that I can ground a million. You know what? Not hope. I'm, you will ground a million people. Yes. You're yes. already on your way. Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, you already, you, I mean, yeah, I've I seen people sending you messages, DMs, emails. Yeah. yeah. I've been grounding. I feel great. So mm -hmm. you, you, you've already started. Yeah, you are grounder now. <laughs> I came into the room last time. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, you need to put a patch on. Yeah. You're like, oh, I already put a patch it's on. Already on. It's already on. I was already grounded when <laughs> you walked in the room. <laughs> yes. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Amazing. So there's over, I think, 20, 30, 30 case studies, 30 peer reviewed mm -hmm. case studies yeah. about grounding at this point. So people can't deny the science. It's yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. The proof is in the pudding. That's it is right. there. <laughs> Millions of dollars have been spent. Yes. On the case studies. Yes. To prove that it's yes. real and it works. Mm -hmm. Case Dupli studies are expensive. duplicatable results. Yes. Yeah. Research is expensive. These studies to actually oh, yeah. print these peer reviewed, mm -hmm. double blind, triple blind yeah. studies, they take money. Okay. Lots of it because we were going to do it at my old job to provide all these studies, but each study probably would cost you in between a million dollars and up. Mm -hmm. So it's expensive. So that shows you the dedication from this man, Clint, Clinton Ober. Clint yeah. Ober. I mean, he he's so dedicated to this cause. He spent over $20 million proving mm -hmm. the science behind yeah. her thing. Right, exactly. And so um, the link is there in the caption. Check out the link, guys. Um, and um, also, there's another thing that someone was asking about, which we will touch on real briefly. And that is... The monatomic gold and the <laughs> colloidal silver. And I'm gonna drop the link to it here. Okay. And I'll drop, I'll give you guys a coupon code as well. Actually, if you want the coupon code, you have to send me a text message because we're doing a new a new um a new promotion right now. But I can only send that promotion to each individual person by text. And so text me at 954-245. 0086 again and so that's 954-245-0086 text hashtag promo and i will text you back a coupon code give you an extra percentage off on top of the normal discount mm -hmm. i just dropped that in the chat for you guys 954-245-0086 it's been dropped in the chat and there's something else that we're going to be giving away. Yes. Real quick, though, yeah. there are people asking questions oh. about grounding. Oh, good. Go ahead. Um, there were some people saying that it didn't seem to be working for them or it was taking their, their coworkers a long time to feel anything. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, we've gotten so disconnected from our bodies mm -hmm. that sometimes we don't even notice the changes that are being made with grounding. It's it's a slight gradual thing. For some people, it can be very profound. My first time grounding was very profound, but I think that's because I was disconnected from the earth my entire life. Mm -hmm. Um, so a lot of people, you know, if you're a gardener, you're pretty much grounding all day, every day, mm -hmm. anyways. So I mean, it can be the effects can be different, but but not the effects. The effects are the same. Mm -hmm. It you cannot have chronic inflammation in your body when you're grounded. Your cellular process will work and function so much better when you're grounded because now your cells have what they need to do things properly yeah right so grounding will always help you but it's just if you're consciously aware of what's happening within grounding or not and mm -hmm. just watch the products that you get as well some of the products like an amazon sheet that i got it had silver thread in it mm -hmm. and it worked maybe for two weeks mm -hmm. and then it stopped working and i'm like okay i threw it away so make sure that you're using really, really good products, that you're doing the research behind the products you're using and test your outlets. Yeah. Don't just be grounding in any old outlet. <laughs> you have to test your outlets and the earthing company provides the testers, testers. right in with all the products. Very important. Yes. Very important. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sorry. No problem. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, Dave, uh, thank you for the donation. It says, look up the original wing makers from 1997, AK Ancient Arrow Project. Powerful into from a cave, info. powerful info, I'm sorry, from a cave in New Mexico. Yeah, I'm well aware of it. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe I'll do a show about it or talk about it uh, sometime in the near future. Thanks a lot, Dave. Appreciate it. But definitely, 
I'm well aware of that. And uh, I'll talk about it in a show and, um, you know, maybe I'll even add it to my Anunnaki series. Mm. Yeah. All right. That's good. Devon Taylor, thanks for the donation. I found Forbidden Knowledge um, broken at my lowest, just under three years of plugging in. I am excelling, having my best days and my best life is improving. Thanks, BC. Hey, hey, man, blessings to you. Blessings I'm glad you. you have really turned the corner and I'm glad that everything is working out and you're living your best life. Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. It takes the work. It yeah. takes the work, but you can create any life that you want. Mm -hmm. You create your life. You yeah. do. Right. Nobody else. You create it. Mm -hmm. Nobody can create your life for you. Yeah. You literally, when I was in trauma energy, a lot of bad things were happening to me because I was now I'm not saying that that abusers are should get away with things. I'm not saying this, but I'm saying that when I was in bad instances and bad situations and carried this trauma energy, a lot more drama was happening to me. Mm, yeah, that's why I cleared my energetic field. That's right. why I do it daily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're in that frequency, that low frequency, that fear. Yeah uh response mode that trauma mode the mentality you are operating still in the law of attraction mm -hmm. the law of attraction works for high frequency and low frequency yep. so you start to see people that are in a negative situation or have a negative mindset all the time or have a lot of trauma a lot of things bad keep happening to them over and over it's yeah. like every time you hear from them they have another sob sob story yeah. another issue another problem another nightmare another fire they got to put out yeah that's because they're attracting it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you switch, flip the switch in your mind yeah. and to from a low frequency to a high frequency mindset, do the work on yourself. Mm -hmm. You can begin to see that the stuff that starts to fall toward you is positivity and high frequency. things. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like my current life, not like my yeah. old life. Right. It was funny. My, my, uh, one of my really, really good friends from Detroit, uh, gangster right <laughs> but he was like he wrote a story about me and he mm -hmm. was like her old life would never know her new life her new life would never know her old life mm -hmm. like they're so far apart yeah. and so different it's like that's not her mm -hmm. like how could that even happen but right. that's because you your shifts right as soon as you shift yourself then you will start attracting completely different right completely right that's yeah. true the second you make the shift everything starts to change mm -hmm. and then eventually the more you focus and work on becoming a manifester, mm -hmm. you become a master manifester. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Everything you want literally unfolds yeah, the way that you want it to. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that there aren't little things that happen on the side, obstacles that you have to overcome, but you always seem to get to the goal. Oh, always. Yeah. Always. We Absolutely. manifest things so quickly that we got to be very careful about the things we talk about, right. think about. Yeah. I mean, it just happens so fast. It happens so fast. <laughs> and Very easy. Fast. And easy. It's too yeah, easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's you, you see, what do I, I just, easy. what do I say all the time? I know. I say it's too easy and I start laughing. You do. And I thought you were crazy <laughs> when I first met you and you started doing that, but I get it now. I totally get it. <laughs> I just it laugh. Is. Guys, I just sit back you and I go, laugh. I just laugh and I go, it's too out. easy. <laughs> I put my arms out. It's just too easy. <laughs> you do. You really oh, do. man. It's yeah. too easy. It, it, but it, it, it took work for me to get there. Right. Yeah. And me too. But right. it is too easy at this point. Right. Right. Yeah. You can get there. You can get there. Mm -hmm. Everyone can get there. Just watch my Manifest Destiny workshops. Oh, yeah. On Forbidden Knowledge TV. Mm -hmm. Manifest Destiny workshops on yep. 4BK.TV. Yep. Okay. Make sure you check it out. Um, is there a shelf life, a shelf life for the Montauk Gold and Silver? It's it, it lasts for a very long time. I mean, I, I don't you think know, there is. I, I, it's I don't just think particles of gold and silver. Yeah, it's just particles of, 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 of yeah of elements that can last literally literally forever. Mm -hmm. uh, and the water is incredible clean water, so um, you you should be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, but the Montauk Gold and Colloidal Silver is amazing because the combination of the two helps goes inside of your body, and it does things to the body that accelerates the the functioning of your brain, the way that your neuron processes, your uh, your synapses process in the brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also does other amazing things for the body. Things and certain things that we can't say on YouTube because we'll have an issue, but uh, mm -hmm. just look it up, research it. It's, yeah. we, it does phenomenal things for you. It's an ancient thing that has been around for a very long time. It was brought to humans by Thoth, the Atlantean priest king uh, in the land of Kim. And it goes way back. And the orum and the different uh, monoatomic powders or dust has been discovered at different temples and uh, uh, places of worship and on ancient sites. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. It's well, well known around the world. Powerful stuff. And in, in the Sumerian tablets, they call it the elixir of life. Mm. Powerful stuff. Yeah, I, I've been taking that actually way before I even knew you. Mm -hmm. I started, I was taking uh, colloidal silver and I don't get sick. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it does. It helps your, your mental health. It mm -hmm. helps trauma yeah. because you don't experience sickness. Mm -hmm. Now, when I got the sickness, <laughs> I almost died. Yeah. That was a huge trauma for my mind, body energy. So much so yeah. that I lost half my hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a, a horrible thing. So when you take supplements and you take these certain things mm -hmm. that, that build your immunity, that build your life force energy, you're feeding yourself. You're you're lifting yourself. Mm -hmm. Any decision that you make in life, think about, is this going to benefit me or is this going to affect me negatively? Mm -hmm. So there's always two roads. There is no gray. There's always two roads. It's just a choice. Mm -hmm. What choice will you make? Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, guys, text me 954-245-0086. Text hashtag promo. That's another thing that we're getting ready to do as well. Yep is uh so we know the documentary black Knight satellite by the way the documentary right now is up for potentially three awards at three film festivals it's been accepted at three film festivals already mm -hmm. and back when i first came up with the idea for the um for the documentary i had actually come up with a poster way before it even came out and so i came up with the poster this is the poster right here that I made, uh, used to hang up in my house. Before the, when you first met me, was this not on the wall yeah, in my yeah, house? Yeah, it was. <laughs> this yeah. was on the wall in my house when she mm -hmm. met me almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. She came over to the house. That was inside of one of my rooms on the wall. The documentary wasn't even done, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Nope. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys, becoming a master at manifesting. Mm -hmm. The movie poster was out before the movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so... Um, but this movie poster, we're going to give it away. It's it's huge. It's almost as tall as you. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. It's probably about four feet. Yeah, four and a half feet. It's, uh, yeah, it's about close to five, mm. and it's about close to four in width. Uh, so it's a massive poster with a real floating frame, a, a real solid wood fr floating frame. Oh, it's a beautiful poster. Yes, yeah, well, well made, and we're going to give this away. In order to get this, you have to text me. Okay, you're gonna text not to uh hashtag um what was it black knight? That's what it was, black knight. So there's two K's B L A C K K N I G H T. There's two K's in there. Hashtag black knight to nine five four two four five zero zero eight six. All right, I'm dropping it in the chat right now. Text hashtag black knight. We'll pay for the shipping. We'll pay for the packaging and shipping and get it out to you. You won't pay anything for it whatsoever. As you know, from time to time, we give things away. Mm -hmm. We only ask that when you get it, you take a picture with it and let us put it up on Forbidden Giveaways Instagram account. That's where we do our <laughs> giveaways, right? Forbidden. <laughs> Forbidden Giveaways. We have an Instagram account just for our giveaways. We mm -hmm. gave one away cars and all kind of stuff. Yeah. Lots. Forbidden Giveaways. All right. So text, uh, text hashtag Black Knight. There's two Ks. B L A C K K N I G H T to nine five four two four five zero zero eight six, and you may be the one that wins the Black Knight Satellite original, the original. first ever original. poster. Yeah, this the original. The poster that helped manifest the, the documentary into yeah, reality. Be award winning because that's gonna for sure happen. Definitely gonna be award winning. Yes. Right now we're up for Independent Film of the Year. Yeah. At one of the film festivals. Amazing. Yeah. That's big time. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy. <laughs> it's too easy. I'm that's just your, telling that's you. That's your too easy laugh. <laughs> it's just too easy. Yeah. Man, I love this. Mm -hmm. I love manifesting. Yes. Yeah. Anything else you want to cut? Uh, uh, talk uh, before we cut. I think I, I think we gave them a ton. They got a lot. They got yeah. a lot. Get my I mean, book, you guys. Get yeah. My book. It, it talks about so much stuff in there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write another one. Get the next book too, The Mother Earth Effect, because that's yeah. gonna be amazing. Oops. Yeah, the um, Mother Earth effect. I can't wait for that book to come out. Yeah, that's it's gonna be yeah great. The yeah. cover, ah, even the cover. The cover is sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait till they see the cover. Wait oh, till they see who's endorsing this book. Oh man, wait till you see the reviews. He, he, yeah, the people that are giving reviews on this he, book are big yes, time people. Really, yes. Big names. Yes. Huge. Yes, not just reviews, but they said endorse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
And Doris is big. It's yes. like, hey, I'm Look, backing what you're yeah. talking about. I know. Like, I'm putting my name That's true. on what you're talking about. Yeah. That's big. That's big. <laughs> That's big. big. Yes. Especially these for these people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't just do that. Oh, no. No, yeah. no, no. It has to work. For right. them to do that, yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, you can look up the Earthing Company. They work with Deepak Chopra. Mm-hmm. They work with Denzel Washington. Yeah. They work with uh, what's that lady's name? She's the actress, Gwen, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Mm-hmm. I mean, they work with all these huge, these these not huge people, but these people that are in in higher lights and have a lot of attention on them all the time. Yeah, and they all back it because mm-hmm. it works. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, great. Well, another great show. Yeah, yeah, another so. great show. Yeah, it's time for us to eat dinner. Yes, it is. Because we've been working out. We've worked out hard today. Yeah, and you were tired. And you still, no one can ever tell me they too tired to work out, okay? <laughs> because <laughs> I see, listen, no one can ever tell me that yeah. after watching you. I swear to God, they can't. Yeah, can't yeah. say nothing to me. Two days in to a work. row. Yeah. I'm You've been exhausted. Beat. Exhausted. I mean, so exhausted. I can feel the energy that you're, you're giving off. Yeah. And it's just, uh, <laughs> that's what it feels like. When I like. get in the gym. Yeah. It's time to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's why you're looking like how you look. I'm trying to do a little something, something, you know. Stacked. I try to do what I can do when I can do it. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Oh, gosh. That's good. Yeah. It's good. You should see his, his muscles. You can't really. They're hiding underneath this, underneath this, hey. uh, this nice blazer I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah they but good. yeah, I've been working. I've been, I've been doing a little something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Jim is is good trauma release too. It it's, is. It's good trauma. Release. It is good trauma release. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Today I was on the punching bag. Yeah, that felt yeah. good. Yeah. Punched it a couple times. I'm like, whenever I get mad again, need to release some anger. I should just come in here. Yeah. That's what I told myself, literally. So I'm, mm-hmm. that's what I'm about to do. Yeah. Because there's these places called Deep Deep Pot um, Demo or something. Deep Pot Demo. Mm-hmm. I don't know. In Michigan, when I used to live in Michigan, mm-hmm. and you could go there and literally smash dishes. They'll give you a whole room, just mm-hmm. room with a bat. It's wow. Amazing. Wow. For anger issues. Yeah. So you guys can look that up too. It's good. Punching bag. Mm-hmm. Right there. Like, you you got your gloves. I got my gloves. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. All right, guys. We love you guys. Thanks for signing on with us tonight and, and listening. And hopefully uh, some of the information we share with you can help uh, yourself or someone else that you know. So please share the link. Please click the like button. Uh, smash that bell so that you can get notifications. And also, if you want extra <laughs> notifications from us, because you know that thing doesn't really go out. What? The bell. Oh, the he bell. said smash that bell. Smash the bell. You know, you got to tap the bell on the little YouTube. <laughs> he said smash it. Yeah, smash Sorry. it. Sorry. Boom. <laughs> what he but anyway, smash the bell, guys. Don't forget to smash. But it. anyway, listen, <laughs> you silly. Sometimes those notifications don't go out. Well, yeah. we know, we know they don't. No, I know they don't. Yeah, so, so sign up for the, the link, the text message. We always up. send. Yeah, if you want to get a notification, like we sent out a text tonight to let people know we were live. Nine five four two four five zero zero eight six. We mm-hmm. will send you a notification when we go live. Nine five four two four five zero zero eight six. All right. I see a bunch of our, our tour people in here too. Jason. Oh, yeah. Some of the people from the Egypt tour in the house. Yeah, yeah. Percy. Yeah. 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 What's up? We What's had a great up? time. A bond that will last forever. It will. It yeah. will. We're having meetups. We're literally going to have meetups for yeah. a year later. Yeah. These are real. I consider these people to be real friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I'm glad I'm growing on you, Russellito. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> All right, guys, we really got to go eat, though. Yeah, we do. All right. Yes. We love you guys. Peace. All right. Peace. <laughs> From the third eye with the love. Yeah, you got other people doing it.